it's horrific to see this almost unrecognizable from one year ago. Few glaciers in the world have been monitored as long as this one. This picture dates back to the early 1900s. Since then, Pedo Glacier has receded three and a half kilometers. Dr. John Pomroy first stepped foot on this ice in 2008. He came to better understand the hydrology of Pedo Glacier and its neighbors, but he never imagined it could melt away in his lifetime. I was horrified. We're basically seeing the glacier disintegrate very rapidly before our eyes. And I think we'll be documenting the end of this glacier uh, over my career now. A summer of unprecedented heat has not been kind to the iconic ice in the Canadian Rockies. Glaciers here were already on a rapid retreat. This season, the ice melts are the highest ever recorded. The distance between my hand and my foot is the amount of ice melt we had in just one week. We could lose about seven metres of ice off the glacier this year. An increase of about two metres over the last few years, and the hundreds of burning wildfires making it even worse. So a lot of the soot from the wildfires has landed on the glaciers and darkened them up. And then the algae and the bacteria and viruses start growing on this stuff, and it darkens the glacier. And you see where it's accumulated here, the ice has melted faster than where there's less of it over here. Just 13 years ago, this lake behind me was covered in ice. But what's even more astonishing is if I were to be standing on the surface 60 years ago, I would have been 200 meters higher. I call the area at the toe of the glacier the graveyard because that's where the glacier goes to die. That's really where we see the fastest change, the most change. It's melting really fast, it's changing really fast, um, and it's, it's, it's very depressing. Pedo is part of the headwaters to the North Saskatchewan River a life source for so many across the prairie provinces. You know, it's not impossible to imagine if we're losing ice at the rate that the Pedo Glacier is losing ice this year, that our rivers would run dry in August or September. And this is like grievously serious for the future of life on the prairies. The world as we know it is being transformed as we watch. This is not just affecting water supply and irrigation and hydropower, it's, uh, it's affecting the very nature of the Canadian Rockies and what they are. That's uh, very sad, I think. Dr. Pomroy projects PETA will be gone within a decade, yet another casualty of a changing climate. We're uh, reaching a range of conditions outside of which our species developed. And so uh, I hope we can preserve all of this. Jamie Dog, Global News, Banff National Park.